Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Hello, Yancy, Melanie. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Norma. Good evening. How are you? Welcome. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Hello, Isaura. Hello, Edwin. Hello, Blanca. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Norma Callejas. Welcome, welcome, guys. Are you ready for your last class for today? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So today is going to be the last day uh, in this module. We're going to finish module three today. So um, we will come back. I think that your module will, be, will begin uh, sometime after the the uh, Holy Week vacations, but I don't know. All right, so what I would like for everybody to do today is, well, what I would like for us to do today is I would like for us to finish the section, section number five, and the final exam. Yeah, that's going to be the objective for today. So we're going to look at section number 5.9. Did everybody finish section 5.9? Yes. Yes? Okay. Let's go ahead and check it together. Uh, let me have the first one. Is Edma. Number one. Edma. My teacher. Huh? Um, have you ever seen? You ever seen? Hmm. In a karaoke bar, have yes. you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Right. Everybody, listen and repeat. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Have you ever sung? Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Okay, let's do number two, uh, Christina. Number two, Christina. Number two. Un momento, teacher, no he entrado a la plataforma. <laughs> eh, si quiere solo mire mi pantalla, yo la estoy compartiendo con ustedes. Okay. Um, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, what is your answer? You have to answer this one and this uh, one. As sings? No, she sings. Oh, sounds. Uh, can somebody help? I have a, I have a sound. Very good. Yes, I have. I have sung one on my birthday. Very good. Number three, Norma, Elizabeth. Have you ever lost something valuable? Valuable. 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 Have valuable. you ever lost something valuable? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. The next one, please. Nubia Morales. Number four, Nubia. No, I haven't. But my brother lost his camera on a trip once. Once, very good. No, I haven't. But my brother lost his camera on a trip once. Very good. Repeat, please. Once. 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 
Once. That Once. means that Once. means only that means one time. One time. All right, the next one is number five. Jose Luis. Uh, number three, that's number six. No. Jose Luis, no. you're going to be doing number five. Okay, let me see. Uh, have you ever. No, no. How. Uh, la dos, en el segundo. Uh, have you ever got. No. Nope. No, a mm. vez es la primera. Correct. Recuerde que siempre va a usar el past participle. Always. Okay. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Así se les dice multas en los Estados Unidos. Tickets. Number six. Okay, Thank you, Jose Luis. Number six, please, Isaura. Yes, I have. Once I got a ticket. Excellent. And had to pay. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. So aquí cambió the present perfect. Yes, I have. A simple pass. Once I got ticket and had to pay $50. All right. Se acabaron las multas de 50. Number seven, Edwin. All right, coach. Um, have seen, have you ever seen a live concert? Excellent. Have you ever seen a live concert? Perfect, Edwin. Number eight, Blanca Guadalupe. Number eight, Blanca Guadalupe. Okay, I think she's busy. Number eight, Nelson Adan. Number eight, Nelson Adan. Number eight, Nelson Adan. Okay, Nelson Adan is busy. Uh, number eight, Norma Callejas. Okay. Yes, I have, I saw you two at the stadium last year. Perfect. Yes, I have. I saw you two at the stadium last year. Otra vez. Yes, I have. Present perfect. I saw you two at the stadium last year. Simple pass. All right. Perfect. Number nine. Ana Yamilet. Number nine. Ana Yamilet. Sí, ya voy. How e is a how you ever be late for an import appointment? Appointment. Appointment. Very good. So it is have you ever been have you ever been late for an appointment? Important appointment. Good, good. Thank you. Number 10. The last one. Number 10. The last one. Alba Luz. Alba Luz. Number okay. 10. No, I haven't. By my sister was. 30 minutes late for her wedding. Wow. Wedding. 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 No, I haven't. 
but my sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. Wow. That's crazy, right? How are you going to be late for your wedding? Out of control. All right. Perfect. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions about this topic? Present perfect and simple past. Questions? Questions, questions? Somebody? Anybody? One body? One question? Two questions? No question. All right. No questions. Okay. Well, basically, guys, uh, I want you to notice that the simple present, básicamente lo que vimos allí es que el simple present se utiliza para expresar actividades eh, específicas que han pasado en el pasado, right? Por ejemplo, tú dices, yo fui al cine ayer. I went to the movies yesterday. Pero si quieres decir algo que ha pasado en cualquier tiempo en el pasado, yo he ido al cine. I have gone to the movies, right? So no specific time. So esa es la diferencia básica. Simple past, specific activity, specific time in the past, present perfect, in the past, but not specific time in the past. Any questions? Somebody, questions, questions? Okay, we're going to move forward to the next activity, which is expressions for and since. Let's listen, for and since. And since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. When you use the frasal verb in what time? The phrasal verb. Yes, it is size, yes, form, and I don't know what use identifying uh, sentences. Okay, okay. Okay, so basically, uh, thank you, Luis. Basically, okay, okay. What, we're, what we're gonna do right now is take a look at or, since, and Jose Luis wants to know about Phrasal verbs. Okay. Very good. Now, in what situation am I going to use for? Okay. For is basically used, for example, for the duration of a time. For example, I say to you, I have lived in El Salvador 
four. Let's see. Five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, that's 15, 18 years. For 18 years. Or you can say, I have lived in El Salvador since 2005, right? So when we use for, when you use for, you're saying for how many years, right? Por 18 años. Yo he vivido en El Salvador por 18 años. The other one, I have lived in El Salvador since 2005. Yo he vivido en El Salvador desde el 2005. Right. So, for is used to express the duration and since is used to express when the activity started. Since expresa desde cuando empezó la actividad. Okay. Por ejemplo, tú dices, yo he estado estudiando inglés por tres meses. O yo he estado, yo he estudiado inglés por tres meses. I have studied English for three months. O puedes decir, yo empecé, yo he estudiado inglés desde enero. I have studied English since January. Right? So, el since expresa cuando empezó esa actividad y el for expresa cuánto tiempo ha durado esa actividad. Questions, questions? Questions, questions? Anybody? For coach is for uh, cuánto tiempo? Ajá, cuánto tiempo ha durado la actividad? Is Science is no, desde cuándo? No, since. Sí. Since. Uh -huh. since. Desde, desde, desde cuándo? Por ejemplo, wow. desde enero, desde febrero, desde junio. Ok, coach. Thank you. Ok, gracias, Edwin, por la clarificación. Ahora vamos a ver los phrasal verbs. Los phrasal verbs son básicamente verbs, pero que eh, son de más que una palabra. Por ejemplo, si tú dices eat, es un verb. Go, es un verb. Talk, es un verb. Walk, es un verb. Work, es un verb. Play, es un verb. Todos esos son verbos, pero solo son una palabra. Por eso no se llaman phrasal verbs. Solo se llaman verbs. El phrasal verb se llama así porque es una frase que compone un verbo. Phrasal verb. Por ejemplo, eh, tú dices, voy a recoger a los niños a la escuela a las 12. Hay... ¿Cómo se dice eso? I am going to pick up. Ahí está el phrase of verb. Pick up the kids at the school at 12. Ok. So, ¿cuál es el verbo? El verbo es pick up. Pero, ¿por qué se llama phrase of verb? Porque es compuesto de dos palabras, pick y up, pero solo es una actividad. 
que es recoger los niños. Pick up the kids. Ahora, digamos que tú quieres decir, apaga la luz, apaga la tele antes que te duermas. ¿Cómo le voy a decir? ¿Cómo digo apaga la tele? Turn off. Very good. Y Saura. Turn. Thank you. Off. Quiere decir apaga. Turn off. The TV before you go to sleep. So, ¿cuál es el phrasal verb? Turn off. Turn off. Que básicamente es compuesto con dos palabras, pero es una actividad que quiere decir turn off, apagar. Luis, ¿le ayudó la explicación? Yes, teacher. Uh, I remember uh, you tell us the uh, four is for uh, a specific time, date, and size is uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, this, I forget you, teacher. Okay, okay. Sí, el four <laughs> es para decir four. Por ejemplo, usted dice, yo he estado leyendo este libro por tres días. I have, yes. been, re I have been reading this book for three days. Pero si usted dice, yo he estado leyendo este libro desde el lunes. I have been reading this book since Monday. Let's uh -huh. continue. Uh, okay, Present yes, perfect, continue. So, el since va a expresar cuándo empezó la actividad. Y el for va a expresar cuánto tiempo ha durado la actividad. Oh, ah, ok. Y el phrasal verb básicamente es un verbo compuesto de más que una palabra. Ese es un phrasal verb. Hay phrasal verbs que tienen hasta tres palabras. Ahí está. Ok, ok. Uh, another question, guys. Anybody? Negative teacher. Negative, okay. Let's continue. All right, aquí van a escribir cinco ejemplos con for y cinco ejemplos con since. Pero no ahorita porque necesito que terminemos todo today. All right, the last one, knowledge check 5.12. Knowledge check 5.12. ¿Todos hicieron esta actividad? Everybody did this activity? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. I like that. I like that. I like that. Let me have... One volunteer for number one. One volunteer for number one. Me, teacher. All right, Edma. Number one, Edma. Pam was in Central America for a month last year. For a month last year, right? Good. For un mes el año pasado. Perfect. Thank you, Edma. Thank you. Let me have another volunteer, number two. Hi, teacher. Jenny, Carolina, number two, please. Mm. I've been a college student. Mm. For almost four years. Excellent. For almost four years is correct. Number three, normalizano. Number three, normalizano. Okay. Hiroshi has been at work since six o'clock a.m. Since. 6 o'clock a.m. Very good. Excellent. Yen, ya, Yancy, Melanie, number four. I haven't gone to a party for two years. 
as a kid. Very good. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Excellent. Number five, Cristina. Number five, Cristina. Just a living in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Perfect. Number six, Nuvia. Number six. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Since Monday is correct. Good job. Uh, let me have Fatima Noemi. Fatima Noemi. Um, Natalie was again to Danny for six months. Mo Mother. For six months. Perfect. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Excellent, excellent. Number eight, please, Blanca. Eight. Um, Pat and Valeria have been best friends uh, since high school. Since high school. Excellent. Blanca Guadalupe. Number nine, Jose Enrique. Jose Enrique. Number nine. Jose Luis, number nine. Uh, uh, we have been in class size five. 30 p.m. Perfect. And number 10, please. Josia Alexiomar. Josia Alexiomar. Hello, hello. Number 10. The baby have a cry uh, for for 30 minutes. For 30 minutes. Excellent. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Good. Good, good. Perfect, perfect. Any questions? Any questions? Huh? <laughs> no teacher. Okay, all right. All right. And then we're gonna look at the last one, which is link sounds. Listen, please. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. All right, basically, básicamente lo que dijo es que la de al final de cada eh, verbo, eh, la pronunciación está conectada con el vocal que le sigue. Por ejemplo, si el verbo termina en sonido T. ¿Por qué termina? ¿Quién me puede decir por qué cook, eh, cocinar, cook? En el pasado, ED. Eh, guys, por favor, mantengan sus eh, micrófonos en silencio porque se escucha bastante ruido. Se le la, 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 la
creo que es Fátima Noemi, ¿verdad? Ok, sí, ella tiene el micrófono. Okay. Okay. Fátima, por favor, eh, mantenga el micrófono en silencio. Gracias. All right. Uh, like I was saying, si el verbo termina en un sonido T o D y, y le sigue una vocal como la I, el sonido I've already cooked it. Es un sonido como cantadito. Cooked it. Como que es la, el mismo sonido. Cooked it. Cooked it. Tried it. Tried it. Es un solo sonido. Eh, ¿Qué define si el sonido es T o D? ¿Quién me puede decir? ¿Qué define? Si el sonido es T o D en el verbo, en el pasado. ¿Qué es lo que lo define? ¿Cuál es la pregunta, coach? Perdón. Eh, ¿Qué define si el verbo se va a pronunciar con el sonido T o el sonido D? Al final, en el simple pass. Si lleva doble vocal seguida, uh -huh. se creo que. Te creería. Ok. Teacher. Uh -huh. Creo que va a sonar como T cuando okay. la palabra eh, finaliza, como por ejemplo en, en sonido de. de, de de consonante silent, ¿no? Como es algo así. Por ejemplo, okay. ajá, cooked en pasado, cooked. ¿Sí? Yeah, cooked. okay. All right, vamos bien. Mm -hmm. So, básicamente, okay. si el sonido es unvoiced, unvoiced, right? Unvoiced. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Unvoiced quiere decir que el último sonido del verbo no es pronunciado. Por ejemplo, si tú dices, si tú pones tus dos dedos acá y tú dices la palabra hook, 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 esa K es considerada unvoiced. Pero si tú haces lo, contra, lo mismo con el otro, tried, eso es voiced. Ahí sí hay sonido. Porque si tú dices try right, el sonido sí, sigue. En, el, en ese sentido quizás teacher, serían aquellos que terminan con sonido de vocal. Correct. Correct. O, o por ejemplo la N burn Learn. Right. Son sonidos que son considerados voice. Eso es lo que define. Sonoros. Correcto. Pronunciados. Eso va a definir si es cooked o tried. Eso lo define. All right. Let's listen to the video. Listen to the video. Any questions? Sí, teacher, una pregunta. Yo he quedado con la duda. Yeah, I've already yes. Eh, usted dice de que va, se dice cooked, pero mi pregunta es, ¿siempre va a meter como la, el sonido de la T y T? ¿O, o cómo? Esa me, esa ah, me... la I T, cooked it. Ajá, sí. Ajá. Solo que va a ser como cantadito. No va a decir usted cooked it. No va a decirlo así. Lo va a decir así. Cook it. Cook it. Como que es un solo sonido. Cook it. Ok, teacher. Thank you. 
Ajá, no va a cortar el sonido, no va a decir, I've already cooked it. No, va a decir, I've already cooked it. Como que si es un solo sonido. Cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Vio que no dijo, no dijo, tried it. No lo dijo así. Lo hizo como un solo sonido. I tried it. I tried it. Como cuando decimos can't, won't, I've. Como que si es una contraction. Así se va a pronunciar. Okay. Now, I want you to practice answering the phone. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay. Eso lo pueden hacer eh, cuando ya terminen el examen final. Eh, básicamente yes, lo que it. van a hacer es responder estas preguntas. Y básicamente el verbo, aquí están los verbos. Eh, tasted, tried, brought, read y book. So lo que usted va a hacer es básicamente eh, grabarse. Diciendo el verbo con it después. Por ejemplo, have you ever tasted goat cheese? ¿Una vez has probado queso de cabra? ¿Y qué vas a decir? Yes, I taste it. Yes, I taste it. Un solo sonido. No vas a decir, yes, I have tasted it. No, I have tasted it. Un solo sonido. Y eso lo va a hacer en Boca Roo y lo va a pegar abajo. Eh, los verbos son tasted, tried, brought, read y book. All right, so that's going to be your homework. Eso lo va a hacer en Boca Roo. Now we're going to take the attendance. Vamos a tomar la asistencia y después nos vamos a meter al examen final. Porque eso es lo que necesito terminar hoy. All right, guys. Uh, when I call your name, please say presence. Si ve que su compañero escribe en el chat, me avisa, por favor. Alba Luz. Present. Okay, Alba Luz is present. Right. Uy, ya viene la vacación. Me siento emocionado por eso. Ana Yamilet. Present teacher. Ok. Blanca Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Absent. Uh, Cristina Claribel. Present teacher. Excellent. Edma Azalia. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Alexander. Present coach. Thank you. Efraín Emilio. Efraín en el chat. Okay. Fatima Elisa. Fatima Marroquín. En el chat. Okay. En el chat, teacher. Okay. Okay. Fátima Rivera. Fátima 
Fatima Rivera. Absent. Okay. Herbert Eliseo. Herbert Eliseo. Isaura Evelia. Present teacher. Thank you. Josia Alexiomar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Josué. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Enrique. Present teacher. Jose Luis Castro. Present. Maria Elizabeth. Nelson Adán. Nelson oh. Adán. The chat. The chat. Okay, okay. Norma Callejas. Present. Norma Lizano. Present teacher. Nubia Cristina. Present. Oscar Alexander. Oscar Alexander. Absent. Silvia Lisset. Present. Susana Isabel. Present. Yancy Melanie. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Jocelyn Yvette. Okay, good job. All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move forward and I would like for us to take a look at the next section. For the next section, we are going to be analyzing the final exam. So for the final exam, I would like for everybody to please, uh, we're gonna go to the first section, which is section number, what well, letter? A, listening. I want you to do this activity together as a class. We did this one already. You're going to be working from this one. C. Section number C. And then we're going to check it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Help each other and then we check. Help each other and then we check. One person can share the screen. Okay, continue to the next one. Teacher. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and the uh, recording vocal, and the sentences uh, in Bocaro. 
is homework. That is correct. Uh, okay. Yes, that's going to be your homework. My. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. No sé si lo pronuncié bien. Sí. Sí, sí. Ah, vale. Entonces todas están correctas. Sí. Ok. Sí. Vamos a la B. Uh -huh. Vaya, literal B. Uh -huh. Have, Have you been, been to, been to, been any, to any good movie lately? Lately. 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 No tiene sonido la T en esa, en esa. No, lately. No. Lately. Okay. Maya. B. Yes. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's check it out. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, Nelson Adan, number one. Jose Luis, number one. Uh, Letter A, uh, the first. Yes. Answer the first. My brother is is a twenty and goes to college in Arizona. Excellent. Number two, Christina. Uh, Tracy has short string black hair and blue eyes. Eyes. Very good. Eyes. Eyes. Uh -huh. Edma, number three. Uh, we can't hear you, Edma. Your silence, your microphone is on silence. Okay. We'll come back to Edma. Yeni, number three. Phil, <clears throat> pardon, Phil's new nephew is fit, five feet eight and has dark brown bread and mustache. Excellent. Correct. Number four, Josia. Number four, Josia. Smart time ever climb an appointment. Missed an appointment. An appointment is una cita. Okay, number five. Novia. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Cell phone, good. Uh, number six, Blanca Guadalupe, number six. How you ever driven a tr truck? Have you ever driven a truck? Perfect. Okay, good. Did everybody finish section letter D? Yes. Everybody? Yes. Everybody? 
Okay, okay. The first one, please. Jenny. Mm. Christy is really gorgeous and I her in 30s. All right. Christy is really gorgeous and is in her 30s. Number two, Norma Lizano. Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Okay. So the answer si is le falta la e. Does Sam have a mustache and wears sunglasses? Okay. Number three. Number three, Ana Yamilet. Blanca. Three. Cindy is medium. Okay. Um, and has long red hair. Okay. Cindy is medium height and has long red hair. The last one, number four, me, teacher. Okay. Was the person sitting on? Was the person sitting on the coach next to Jason? All right. So it is who's. Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? All right. What happened to this one? Does Sam have a mustache? And wear glasses. And wear Sunglasses, no S. It's only glasses, no sunglasses. Oh, no sunglasses. Okay, there it is. All right, did everybody finish this one? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, we got one more, one more, and we are done. Did everybody finish E? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, let's read it real fast. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Who? Somebody, somebody. Okay, Isaura, Isaura, I want you to okay. read the first paragraph. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. 
I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I come to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet coffee. So I am emailing you now. Emailing you now. Okay, good. All right. Uh, another volunteer for the next. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. It's really con convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street, and there are some interesting stores too. On a store sell seals or sells? Sells. Sells love of Amazini CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. In my no, in my room, mates, mates, mates. So mates, no roommates to me there. A dance club just to books away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, it, sir. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's check. Number one, Sarah can read books. Yes or no? No. no. Sarah can eat Venezuelan food. No. no. Exercise no. at a gym. No. 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 Get a haircut. No. no. Go dancing. Yes. Go shopping. Yes. yes. Make travel arrangements. No. no. See movies. No. 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 Send emails. Yes. 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 Wash and dry clothes. Yes. 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 <laughs> no. Qua, qua, qua. No tacho la última, teacher. Por eso no le agarra. Por eso no agarra. Okay. Oh. Teacher, qua, qua, qua. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. We're going to, we got five more minutes. I would like for you guys to uh, tell me a little bit about your experience in this module. Como se han sentido. Eh, como han sentido el módulo, como han sentido el material. Eh, please uh, share with me. Eh, ¿Puede hablar español? Me gustaría que me dieran reto a la mintación. Yo, teacher, y quiero Andy. agradecerle porque es la segunda vez que toco con usted, es el segundo módulo que toco con usted okay. y sabe explicarnos porque muchas veces el video no me queda no me da la, la información suficiente y usted sabe explicarlo y nos tiene la paciencia para terminar de explicarnos y todavía nos pregunta si tenemos alguna duda y eso es excelente en un maestro porque estamos aprendiendo todo, ¿verdad? Muchos saben un poco más que otros, pero todos vamos al mismo ritmo uh -huh. y le agradezco. Gran. Thank you. Thank you, Yancy. Sí, me acuerdo que estaba en el módulo pasado usted, ¿verdad? I remember. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Somebody else? Sí, sí yo también. Ay, perdón. No, dale, no hay problema. No. Okay. Agradecida ah. por, por su dedicación y su paciencia. La verdad que se le entiende muy bien y usted bien, hace las clases bien dinámicas y nos ayuda a que todos por corregir los errores pues porque todos tenemos errores pero la verdad que es muy paciente y me, me gusta cómo da las clases oh thank you I appreciate that thank you all right vamos con Edwin y después Jenny y después yo ah después Edma 
Y también pues, yo, teacher, por favor. <risa> Pues lo mismo, Coach, lo que he mencionado mis compañeras anteriormente, que algunas veces no nos queda lo del video y cuando venimos a clases usted lo explica de una manera bastante agradable y entendible y también las clases son bastante dinámicas ya que estamos practicando la mayor parte del tiempo, eh, también que nos corrige cuando nosotros nos equivocamos y eso nos ayuda también a a que nuestra pronunciación sea mejor y pues bastante agradecido también por la paciencia que nos tiene, a pesar de que nos equivocamos y todo. Eh, pues muchas gracias, Coach. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you, Erwin. Yes, Jenny. Es nada más darle las gracias por la paciencia que nos ha tenido. Igual estoy de dos módulos y gracias por todo lo que nos enseñó por compartir sus conocimientos y esperamos tenerlo en otro módulo. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. A mí siempre me dan los módulos avanzados también. So that's it. Nos vamos a ver más adelante. Yeah. Ok, teacher. You, yo Jenny. solamente yeah. agradecerle por la paciencia y por la buena enseñanza que da y se nota que pone dedicación con cada uno de nosotros. Y nos enseña con paciencia y con amor. Y eso se le agradece. Que, y este mi hijo, hasta mi hijo quiere aprender. Gracias a todos también, compañeros, por estar ahí. Que pongámonos a, a practicar hoy en vacaciones. Gracias. Ok, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good job. Eh, Ana. Bueno, teacher, muchas gracias por tenernos paciencia por dedicarnos también bastante tiempo cuando tenemos dudas, por hacer dinámica la clase y esperamos que así podamos coincidir nuevamente con usted y también el grupo de compañeros que son bastante activos. Muchas gracias. Bueno, gracias a ustedes por participar. Para mí ha sido un placer eh, ser su teacher en este módulo. Eh, por si acaso, más adelante no llego a ser su teacher. Ustedes todos tienen mi número de contacto. Si más adelante ustedes necesitan algún apoyo o una ayuda, consideren que pueden contar con mi apoyo. Gracias. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Okay, guys. Gracias. Muchas gracias, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.